October 5th, 1957. In PJs, we pad over the dewy grass in the October cool dusk and mount the old 48 Plymouth lying like a cold black boulder under the studded night velvet sky. Me on the roof, lying on my back. And we are early, so it's like the drive-in movie, almost dark enough for the horns to start honking. Well, only we're not out here for a comedy or a cowboy flick, but something dark, something sci-fi, something Flash Gordon-ish. Because nothing, save the Aurora Borealis, the random meteor or the occasional prop-driven airliner's blinking beacon ever moves up there in my night sky. And so we fidget, waiting on that corner of heaven we've been warned to watch, whispering in hushed reverence, consulting the big radium dial pocket watch when suddenly there it is. There. Right there. You see it? The first untwinkling star ever to swim right through the Big Dipper, crawling its geometrically precise straight line and clocking a faster transit of the firmament than a four-engine TWA. Stunned with awe, we quietly mouth the holy word. Sputnik, and perhaps feel the mild jolt as our life and our world, mine and America's, banks left to dive down into still one more alternate and parallel universe, where education will be radically different now, and anything, literally anything, will be possible. <laughs>